again everybody I am today tinkering around on the old Hawk I've been riding this to work a few times uh, it's kind of kind of fun to ride it uh, gives you a nice little ride in the evening uh, home after a hard day's work you get to take a motorcycle ride so what could be better than that let me show you what uh, I'm getting ready to put on it right now all right, so today we are going to be removing this old chain, which this chain is not hurt. It's the original chain, but it's not hurt. It's it's all right. It still works fine. Uh, but I want a little more longevity. So I'm going with an O-ring chain. And what an O-ring chain is, you can see the little diagram here of the O-ring on it, but I can probably show you better the actual chain itself you can see it in between the links you can see there's a little space in there and what that is is a rubber o-ring and the purpose of that is the o-ring goes on here and the oil that you put on the inside um, or well that it's put on at the factory you can't get oil in it right now because it's already sealed up but from the fact uh, when you put oil in it like with this master link it has little o-rings with it too so that seals out the dust and the dirt and the mud and it holds the oil and grease whatever it's I guess oil it holds it inside so that your chain will last longer this type you have to keep on every now and then putting some of this on it and not only does that make it look all greasy which I really don't care that much about it looking greasy it's a dirt bike so what we're going to do is we're going to remove this old chain and put the new chain on I got a little bit longer one than what I need this one is a little longer uh forgot what I got it's a it's it's a 428 chain same 136 lengths so I've got a few more than what I needed but we're, what we're going to do we have a grinder right here so we're going to shorten this chain up however far we need to and we're going to put it on there so let me get this set up in a tripod and let's see what we're going to get done okay so in order to get this chain off we need to remove our master link and sometimes you can get in there with a screwdriver or something and get it to pry off. Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. Now I've removed the chain guard and I put the link up on top of the sprocket. Okay. That has kind of loosened it up. Now, I'll take my pliers. it off just like that and there is the retainer for your master link and notice the direction it's pointing toward the back of the bike when the chain is on top now the reason for that is the chain turns this way like this so you want the clip so that if a stick or anything else catches that clip if it was turned that way it's coming up through here a stick catches it it could potentially if it caught this clip just right it could push it off the master link is supposed to anyway come apart just like that now we are not going to remove this chain yet though because we're going to use this old chain to get the new chain onto the bike because I don't want to pull it on around here a little bit I don't want to take the side cover off of the back where the sprocket is if I can avoid it so what we're going to do let me pull it a little bit more so it kind of holds itself I'm going to get I guess I'll go ahead and just use the regular old master link first I'm going to clean it off 
don't want to get any grit or anything into the new chain. So, I went ahead and wiped that pin off. And I'll put it back through the old chain. Then, the new chain, I'm going to hook onto here. Just like that. Okay. Now, when I pull on this end of the chain, and just keep on pulling and keep a little bit of tension, as this one pulls up there, you can see that here's the new chain. Here's the old chain. And we'll just do like this. And as you can see, the new chain is coming back out the bottom. I did not have to take my cover off that way. A little time saver. So now what we need to do, pull our chain all the way through here. Okay, so now, pull it tight, and you can see it's relatively tight on there, so that is not the length that we need. We need to grind it off of this length, we'll have to tighten it up. we got plenty to tighten up, so we'll grind this length out. We just need to, you can see how these are. These are hammered over, peened over, as they're called. So what you've got to do is you've got to grind those off. So the whole thing comes out. Should be able to take this screwdriver and just pound it in there. All right, so now I've got the new chain wrapped all the way around to there. I'm going to clean my hands off because I don't want to get any grit into that master link. We'll take our link, dump all of our goodies out. You can see we've got all kinds of goodies here. We have, have four O-rings. The two pieces of the link and the clip. So what we have to do, we need our oil. And I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna put oil on these links. Just like that. Then the O-rings need to go on. There's one and two of them. Like that. This goes in. Of course, into these holes right here. Just like that. O-ring. O-ring. This piece. Now this part, in order to get them to hold together, I'm going to squeeze it there and we're going to put our clip on the same way it was on the other side. Okay, so there is our chain. And you can see slightly loose. Supposed to be just a little tighter than that. So let's take care of that. Okay, that part is loosened up. You're not just going to want to crank one side of this. You're going to want to go back and do the other side too. But you may end up having to take another link out of this. Well, maybe not. It's getting there. That's about right, actually. 
about halfway on there. We'll line it up on this side the same. What I'm wanting to do, see there's a center lug right here. And if it is lined up right with a shock mount, then you're pretty close. But also, this you'll want to look directly down right through here and make sure turn the wheel and make sure that sprocket is perfectly going straight with the other sprocket if you do that and it looks all nice and straight then you're about done also if you're not sure check your middle lug up here make sure it's centered if it is, you can lock it down. And then these should be good and snugged up. Okay, so that's how you put the, uh, or replace the chain and actually put an O-ring chain on well pretty much any motorcycle it's the same uh, but it's on there now i'm gonna put my chain guard on and uh then i'm gonna show y'all some of the stuff that i've or update some of the stuff that i've been doing to it all right so what else did i do to it you may any of y'all that have a hawk might notice that this is not factory this is actually a gps speedometer Right there is the speed sensor. Uh, the speedometer that's on these is not very accurate at all. So I wanted an accurate speedometer uh, that would actually like tell me mileage. And when you turn it on, give it just a second. It's got to go through its little check. Up like that. And then see if I can cut some of the glare off of it. You can see the trip resets every time. About 73 miles on this speedometer but I don't know how many miles were really on the bike before so I'm not sure now I do have to get some uh, probably some caulking or something some type of hard caulking and uh, put around here so I want this waterproof um, but I do have something right here that's not going to be waterproof <laughs> like I said Turn that off and yeah i do have the alarm on there it's got the alarm buttons and it's got the folding key so that kind of just goes with me but all right now i have been using this at work to actually flag um i put i put my stop sign in here and I flag off of it. Um, I'll put a picture up showing because I took a picture of it when it was all set up. Now, I just added these. I haven't used those at work yet. But let me show you. You got the button right here. Push the button. And then you come back here. And you should definitely be able to see that there is something sitting there. I think I've pulled something loose. This one of them is not working already. What's going on with that? Have to check on that. That's supposed to have yellow around it. But, it's supposed to be doing that. It's probably, uh, I think I know what happened. I think the wire come back unplugged. It's okay. It's an easy fix. But, that's my strobes. So that way, when I'm set up, you should be able to see me. <laughs> so doing road work is very dangerous, so you need all the protection you can get. All right, not too many little projects today. Uh, I actually did most of that off camera. I'll let you know how the uh, O-ring chain works out. Um, from what I've heard, it does uh, it does impact performance just a little bit. Uh, 
shouldn't be really enough to even tell it actually but it's supposed to like performance is not its strong suit it it is made for longevity which is more important to me this is not a performance bike i don't race people i don't drive real fast on it uh i just ride so the o-ring chain lasting a long time is what's important to me but anyway i will keep you all updated on that chain if it starts acting up or messing up or anything like that but i guess that's going to be about it for this video i know i haven't put one up for a little while i've been working and uh been just kind of enjoying the new house we're in the house and we're loving it and we're kind of relaxing i guess after getting moved in i know there's still stuff to do but i just kind of want to relax for a little while and enjoy the house that uh we built here <laughs> and uh we will finish everything up and then we'll do us a tour i appreciate everybody watching and i'll see y'all on the next one